be honest, it's not cool to feel left out when your partner is speaking to the children in a language that you don't understand yet. I would say that that is one of the most common reasons why multilingual families end up dropping their minority language, choosing often English or the majority language to communicate within the family instead. That reminds me of the time when I was a child. My mother used to ask my father to switch to Spanish so that she would be able to follow the conversations. But my dad never gave in. He was convinced that it was important to stick to his strongest language, Swiss German, when speaking to us to grow up simultaneously bilingual and become also bicultural. He was totally right. And as for my mom, it was hard at times for her, mostly in the beginning. But she learned eventually to speak and understand Swiss German. That gave her, over the years, a bunch of very, very lovely experiences with our family in Switzerland because thanks to that she was integrated when we paid them a visit. And so that made a massive difference in our lives. It raised our quality of life. Anyway, I'm just saying, it makes sense to make some effort in the beginnings to start learning along with the children, the partner's language. It pays off in life many times. And that is why today I'm going to share five tips for learning your partner's language easily. Maybe I can convince you to give your minority languages a real chance to thrive in the next generations. Tip number one. Don't start with the basics. Immerse yourself, dive into the language head on. Traditional language programs tell you to start with the basics, such as the alphabet, the numbers, the common phrases. Hello, my name is Pedro. I'm 35 years old. I live in... But seriously, when in the world do you actually say or want to say how old you are? Never. I don't know about you, but I find this approach extremely boring and unmotivating. I'm with Steve Kaufman in this one. He says, don't study the basics. Dive into the real deal from day one. That leads us to our next tip, tip number two. Be an active listener when your partner is speaking to your children. Ask back when you hear a new word and you have the energy to do so. Open yourself up to the language. Allow yourself to be exposed to it without pressuring yourself too much. You know, even if you don't do anything else, you will start to understand the conversations between your partner and your children. I guarantee it. And that is what's important, to be able to understand and follow the conversations. When you want to say something, you can always reply in the language you usually speak to your partner or your children. You know, I remember the last Danish Christmas party my husband and I went to last December here in Zurich. There was a young couple there. I remember being very impressed about how well they could speak each other's languages since they had just started learning them after they had met and without formal training. They, they were fluent. It was a couple in their 20s, I guess. She was German, he was Norwegian. I was amazed about their language skills, so they told me that the secret to their success was that they had a bilingual relationship. That is our tip number three. Have a bilingual relationship. What does that mean? It means, in their case, that she speaks to him in German and he speaks back in Norwegian. So they communicate with each other, but each one using their strongest language to do so. That is a fantastic way to learn a language naturally, exactly the opposite of learning the basis like hello, my name is Pedro and so on. Obviously, when they are too tired or need to discuss something important, they switch back to English. You can do the same. You will be amazed about how fast you will learn your partner's language. It also has a nice side effect and that is that your children will get more exposure to the minority language since they are going to hear it more often at home. Tip number four, use a language learning app. There will come a point when you will need to have more guidance and structure to keep on developing your language skills. For example, Duolingo, Babel, Rosetta Stone, or my favorite one is Link Q. 
I'm at that point right now with my Danish skills, for example. I understand almost every conversation between my husband and my children. It's so much easier when we meet his family now because in comparison to some years ago, I've made a lot of progress. Can I speak fluently? No, not yet, but I can understand and follow the conversations. I reply in German or in English when we are in DK and that works just fine for now. But I want to keep on developing my skills because my children are getting better and better and I want to be able to keep up in the future. So in the past I used Duolingo to practice some Danish mostly during vacations but now I've changed to LinkQ because I really like Steve Kaufman's language learning approach. For those of you that don't know him, he's a polyglot, an influencer and a co-founder of LinkQ.com. He has also a YouTube channel with videos about language learning. You can check that out if you're interested. Anyway. In a nutshell, what I personally like about that app is that it allows you to immerse yourself into a language naturally without having the pressure of memorizing vocabulary or having to learn boring things like uh, the basics. <laughs> the content has lots of repetition and I find it very easy to keep on making progress in Danish. I like LinkQ quite a lot. Maybe it's something for you too, maybe not. Who knows? You need to try and see what works for you. But again, language learning apps are always a good supplement. Tip number five, create immersive opportunities for yourself. If at some point you really want to progress faster, when you can, what you can try is the following things. For example, change your phone's language to your partner's language. Listen to music in that language. Watch movies and TV in that language. Visit the country. Ask family and friends to speak with you in that language. But most importantly, have fun. Enjoy the ride. Don't try too hard. Just expose yourself with an open mind and without too high expectations. Learning a language takes time, so be patient and I assure you, you won't regret it. If you need a personal chat with me, just drop me a message on my webpage www.multilingual.family and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Please hit that like button and leave me a comment to support this channel. Keep on doing a great job and I'll see you soon.